Hey guys, you commented and I listened. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get the hoverboard into any mini game with the revamp glitch on PC, mobile, and console. Before we get into the video, I just want to let you guys know that I do do tips and tricks. However, I am a Pet Sim 99 giveaway content creator. And we're currently having our biggest Pet Sim 99 giveaway where I'm giving away three DLC codes to one of you. All you got to do is be a part of my Discord. Uh, it's all under the event tab. I wish you all the best of luck, but let's now get into the video. I know a lot of you don't like to watch videos all the way through, so I will be providing timestamps. However, I will be explaining all the important information that you need to know in the beginning of the video. So stick around for that before you skip around. I'm going to be using the backrooms just because it's easier to demonstrate on because it's closer to spawn. There's a few things that you need to know about this glitch and also a few things that you need to know after you've done the glitch. So I'm going to show you everything right here. The first thing that PC, mobile, and console all need to know when you're entering into the minigame or the back rooms, you have to be on your hoverboard. What we're going to be doing is dismounting the hoverboard and remounting before you load into the minigame or the back room, which will cause your hoverboard to glitch inside. I'm going to slow this part down for you to better understand it. When the black screen is approaching the corners, you're going to press dismount hoverboard. Pet is going to pop up on your screen and it's going to freeze for a second. You want to hit the hoverboard again right before the freeze or right at the freeze. If you've never done this before, the best way to get an understanding for it is to walk in and out of the door a couple times so you can see where the screen freezes and get a feeling for it. Another thing that you need to know is when you take too much damage or you die in the back rooms, what's going to happen is it's going to spawn you in the floor. You're not going to be able to jump like you normally can on your hoverboard. You'll only be able to jump every once in a while. You won't be able to do the smaller obstacle rooms because you're just going to keep falling through the floor. But you can also enter these obstacle rooms and skip them as long as you keep heading in the direction that you want to keep going. What will happen is it'll glitch you out and teleport you to the other side because you are glitched in the ground. So there's pros and cons to this. However, I just feel that it makes it harder. And for you to fix this, you have to leave the back rooms and come back in doing the hoverboard glitch to have it fix. I personally had to enable the dynamic thumbstick because there was really no way for me to be able to do this. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Doing it on mobile is going to be one of the hardest things that you ever do. I'm not saying that it can't be done because I did do it on mobile. However, it took me quite a few times of doing it to actually get it. I think out of 30 times, I was only able to get it twice. Once before I was recording and once while I was recording. So I even came up with another remedy for you guys to be able to do it on mobile. If you have access to like a controller or something that you can link to your mobile device. For everybody using mobile, you're going to have to remember where that hoverboard icon is to do this uh, double mount glitch. I wish you the best luck. If you stick around, I do have another method using mobile and a controller. While using mobile and controller, I found it very easy to move around, but also press the hoverboard button. However, when I tried it, I couldn't get my buttons to work on my controller to allow me to press my hoverboard. So I used the joystick of the controller and pressed the hoverboard on my screen while I was on mobile with a controller. It might have been a fluke for me. It might work for you guys if you use a controller. I hope this really works for you guys because using just straight mobile, I was having the hardest time to perform the dismount, remount glitch, trying to get into any of the mini games or the back room. Personally, I think that console is the second easiest way to do the hoverboard glitch because you have an external button that you can press unlike mobile. So with that being said, as long as you guys got your timing down, you should be able to get it no problem. I hope this video helped you guys across all platforms. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. I will respond to you as soon as possible.